Sean would face down here, and we were with well, actually one of my favorite bands, uh, punk hardcore band uh, Terror. And uh, you are? Martin. And what are you doing in the band? I play guitar. Jordan, and I play guitar as well. That's the name. He plays drums, but he's, uh, he's doing some other stuff. <laughs> Excellent. Now, uh, your most current album, um, Keepers of the Faith, uh, what's the story behind the album? Um, well, like as far as like the album title and stuff goes, or like the inspiration, if there's anything. Um, okay, well, the, the name of the record, I, I didn't come up with it myself, but, you know, I still stand by what it stands for 100%, but um, the story goes, like, we're in... Uh, <coughs> We were in Korea, right? We were discuss all that in the, in the bathroom. It's like someone had tagged up in the bathroom in Korea, always keep the faith, which is something that um, Rabies from Warzone, he always used to, you know, it was like in the lyrics and in their, on their T-shirts and stuff like that. And uh, we just thought it was pretty crazy to be... Shut up! <laughs> so far away from home, you know, in Korea, <laughs> and to, to see that people across the entire world, like, feel exactly the same way that we do, so... That's when the album title came about. I mean, that was before there was even any music for the record. It was just kind of like, yo, let's like name the album this and go from there. And um, that's what happened. So now, why did you guys decide to leave Ferret Music and join uh, Century Media? Um, you trust Killer? Yeah, I don't even know what, what was before. Rich Nine, Trust it was Kill. Kill. Then it was just kind of like a. It wasn't like leaving. It was more just time was up. Uh, I think that that was like right at the time when I had joined the band, so I didn't really like know too much of the business side of it yet. So I don't know. It was like it wasn't like a. You know, we're gonna leave you guys. It was just kind of like it's time to do something new. So yeah. Now, Terror's known for being a hardcore band that keeps it pure and fun. Uh, can you elaborate on the story on, on, on that? That's, I feel like that's like 90% of what hardcore music is about. Is, uh, you know, like, there's really no point in doing it unless you're having fun because no one, you know, in my opinion, no one playing hardcore music should be doing it for any other reason other than, like, you know, having fun and... You know, like we're not gonna we're not gonna be making millions of dollars or anything like that. So if if you're not having fun, there's absolutely no point in doing it. Because yeah. Now, what is your rendition of being a hardcore punk uh, band in modern day society? Uh, do you have an opinion on this? <laughs> <laughs> what? Just like being a band that's trying to stay relevant, like right now, I mean, or just? the way society is now. Oh, wow. <coughs> well, I mean, I think society's pretty messed up now, and it always has been. I don't think, you know, we just face different problems now than people did, you know, say, like, 20 years ago, but things are always going to be messed up as long as, as long as there's, like, you know, money involved and power struggles and stuff like that, so I kind of feel like that's why dudes like us play this kind of music, because there's always going to be certain people that just feel like being like a normal person just doesn't feel right. So that's why you end up gravitating towards music with other people involved that feel exactly how you do. So, yeah. Now, uh, who came up with the ideas uh, behind your music videos, Keepers of the Faith and uh, Stick Tight? It was just like a, it was all like a, it was kind of like a band thing, like, Especially with the, the whole record, like, this whole record, like, everyone had input, like, we collectively thought of everything together, so, and I mean, <clears throat> a music video nowadays isn't as relevant, I guess, as it used to be, <laughs> as relevant as it used to be, so it's kind of like, you know, you're not going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on a video, so what better way to do a video than, like, film yourself playing live, that's what, that's what we do, like, Showing us playing live is, like, that's almost 100% of the band, you know, like, you want to show people a live show rather than some, like, story of us, I don't know, doing something <coughs> weird actually, that doesn't make sense. We're actually but. toying with the idea of doing a video for another song on the album, and 
it's kind of different. Like, we're trying to make it neat. Like a funny video, yeah, almost. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, a lot of hardcore bands don't really do that. Like I said, like, you know, a normal hardcore video is usually live footage and everything like that, so we want to try and do something. Yeah, like I said, when we did uh, Roger from Agnostic Front, when he was playing with the... The, 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 the Disasters? Uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, for a band photo, they did a pyramid shot, and Roger was on top. Yeah. And you wouldn't expect that from the hardcore band. <laughs> yeah, exactly, so... Yeah, everyone kind of knows, like, the same, you know, like... But I mean, I guess it may, it makes sense. You don't want to if, you, if you're like taking your music serious, you don't want to come off like mm. some kind of wimp or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's just kind of an off the wall question. Uh, what is Terry's opinion on the death of Bin Laden? <laughs> <laughs> That's I, like it's interesting. I don't know. Like we're on the road a lot, so it's, and for myself, it's, it's sometimes dark about it's kind of hard to like keep up on current events. But I was actually just reading up about it just the other day, just to kind of figure out to see what happens and everything. And I mean, I guess if it makes America, I mean, I'm from Canada, so I don't know. My opinion value to a certain point, but like if it's gonna, you know, let people, you know, sleep easier at night, thinking part of the problem is over, then maybe so. But yeah, I think I think there's probably still a lot more going on that's probably gonna that may yeah. happen one day, but who knows? I don't want to get too <laughs> deep into it, just mainly because like I never want my politics to be involved with the band. Yeah, because yeah. when you get into politics, it's just like it too, it's too opinion. Now. Yeah, too many people get upset and this and that. But I honestly don't believe that. First of all, that he's dead, and second of all, that if he was dead it wouldn't make any kind of difference because I don't feel that he's a real threat in the first place. I think other people behind it are a threat. And he was just the face that people put on it for one reason or another. It's maybe to, like, you know, give people a face to focus on and to hate because without that, without fear in, in the world, people can't be controlled and people need to be under control for... You know, organized government or whatever to work. So, yeah, I don't think he's dead. I think it's hilarious. Though. I saw like these photo- these pictures of him dead, <laughs> and it's just like to someone someone like me, it's like obvious Photoshop. But I just it makes me laugh to think that like ninety percent of the world sees that and is like, oh, thank God. Yeah. There's the picture of him dead, so he must be dead. You know, it's kind of sad that that, that fools so many people. But you know, whatever. All right, now we'll get back on track. Now on uh, Keepers of Faith, which actually was produced by Chad Gilbert of Newfound Glory, yeah. and who also did H2O, it was engineered by Paul Miner, who did yes. Death by Stereo, and Matt Hyde, who's done bands like Slayer and Hatebreed. Yeah. How was it making the album with these amazing people? It made it easy, I think. Like, I, I've, I've recorded, a, like, that was my third or fourth recording with the band, and it was by far, like, the most smooth, because... I, don't know, I guess like just everyone, everyone understood what everyone wanted like so well that there was like never like a any kind of conflict or. That's David. He that's plays bass yeah, in a band. Player, <coughs> yeah. So it's just like really smooth. Like and all those dudes are. They I don't know. They just everyone was on the same level and I, I, in my opinion it, you can tell when you hear the record. I, mean, I, I think that record sounds so cool. I'm like so. I've actually been listening to it for three days, yeah. nonstop in a row. Uh, yeah, I like. I don't know if it's weird for people, but I listen to it all the time. Especially like I, I go jogging or like lift weights stuff like that, and I listen to it all the time. It's like I, I sit back and I listen to it as just like not someone who played on it, but just like man, like I like these songs, like and it sounds good. Yeah, they're definitely. The catchy. lyrics are great. And yeah, it's, just, it's awesome. It feels good. Now, you guys have been a band pretty much since 2003. You guys must have some crazy fan or core stories you'd like to share. <laughs> that should be the ball. <laughs> I know, you see that all the time. Like, this question gets asked so many times, and then you watch the person try, that has to respond, and they're like... Oh, oh. <laughs> but it's crazy. I mean, crazy stuff does happen all the time, but for some reason, when you're asked that question, you just, you like, forget. freeze. you like... Like, and you can't think of a single thing. It's like trying to find a pen when you need it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, every night I feel like something funny or crazy happens, but I don't know. Like, a lot of it shouldn't be said. 
some of them people know already, but it's stuff that we've tried to kind of get past, you know. Like, there was a, there was a period of time in this band where it was just like every night that we were doing something wrong, we were getting venues shut down, fighting with people, and like I feel like the last like few years of the band have been pretty smooth. And, like for a long time, like we couldn't even like no one wanted to book us or put us on their tours because we were just like these dudes are a fucking problem. Which I mean, realistically, we were all like. You know, Drinking a little bit too much. Not all of us drink, some of us are but I mean, <laughs> we're just normal people like anyone else, and if, if we get like into a crazy situation, we don't always react with the best reaction. Shit goes wrong, but we're trying to be good people these days. <laughs> Getting a little older, I'll, I'll be 30 this year, so I can't be, I can't be screwing around. I got two years on you. Yeah. <laughs> Now, being a band since you know, around 2003, did you guys ever expect to be still jamming and keeping it real to this day and have, pretty much having no boundaries when you guys play a show? I, I can say yes. I wasn't in the band from the beginning. I've been in the band for six six years now, I think. And uh, right, joint, like seeing the band before that, I always knew that that's how the band would be. And then getting joining the band, it's like it just like confirmed that 100 percent. Like there was no doubt in my mind that we would always just kind of be what we are and never get, like, pigeonholed in anything and just kind of, like, we'll play with anybody. Like, why not? What's the point of not playing with, like, a certain band? It's like, we, we go out with, like, metal bands and stuff like that, like, tr- you know, tr- traditional metal bands. And some people judge us for that and say, why would you do that? You know, it's stupid, but it's like, why not? Why not show some, you know, play a show where, you know, some hardcore kids are going to come out and see you, and then these, like, other people are going to be there, too, and they're going to be like, holy shit, like... It opens up the... Yeah, never, like, yeah, we weren't all born into listening to hardcore music, you know, you, you, everyone came from somewhere, and, like, why not show everybody, you know, what, what's going on? And, like, it definitely... <clears throat> I've seen a change, like, we'll tour with a certain band, and then the next time we come through on our own tour, people from those shows will come out and be like, hey, like... I saw you guys this last time and like it was crazy and now I'm back to see you guys again and then not only do they see us but they see the other bands that are coming out on tour with us you know that they never even thought to listen to before so yeah and last but not least what does the future hold for you guys uh, we know about your newest album is there another album in the works videos any more tours side projects what can your fans expect uh no n- like Nothing with a new album just yet. We're still gonna we're gonna kind of play on this one as much as we can, and we're lucky enough to be able to travel the entire world. Like we just got back from Southeast Asia, like Philippines for the first time, Thailand, Malaysia, everything like that. So we're just gonna like tour as much as we can. Cause that's what we always do, and then when the time comes, a record will be <coughs> ready. And we got side projects like me and Nick, our drummer, we play in another band called Piece by Piece, and we play shows, and then. Nick and Scott just recorded a record for their other band called SOS, and that's coming out soon. And our bass player David is in a band. He sings in a band called Down to Nothing, and they're always playing still. Like, we tour together. <coughs> and, uh, yeah. What do you got? <laughs> I do a side project for fun, like at home. You don't do shit. I do some <laughs> shit. I sleep, and then I do a side project with my buddies from back home in Toronto, but... Yeah. Are you talking about millennial rain? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, all of us do. We're all always like doing other kind of music and stuff like that. And um, we're busy no matter what. I mean, Terror Tour is like shit, like ten months out of the year, pretty much. So those other two months, we try to do whatever we can. I do appreciate you guys taking the time out. If you guys never heard of Terror, you guys definitely need to listen to them. Very kick-ass punk hardcore band. Definitely need to check them out. Uh, Face down is out.